In this video, we will begin looking at the composition of functions. What a composition of function is, is when we have functions in functions. We will use the notation f open circle g of x to mean f of g of x. What this means is we plug x into the g of function, and then we plug the result into the f function. In the other notation, x into the g function, and the result into the f function. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just this. In this problem, we're finding f of g of 7, which could also be written f of g of 7. What this is asking us to do is first plug 7 into the g function. So let's do that. When we replace the x with 7 in the g function, we find g of 7 is equal to 7 plus 3, which is 10. Then what this wants us to do is plug the result into the f function. In other words, we plug into the f function the answer we came up with, 10. Replacing the x with 10 gives us the square root of 10 plus 6, or the square root of 16, which is 4. Our final answer for the composition f of g of 7 is 4. Let's take a look at doing the same type of problem, but this time switch the order of the g and the f. This means we do the g with the f function inside of it. In other words, we're going to plug 7 first into the f function. f of 7 is equal to the square root of x, or 7 plus 6, which is the square root of 13. That can't be simplified. Now, we're asked to take that result and plug it into the g function. In other words, we take g of the result, square root of 13. g is x plus 3, or the square root of 13 plus 3. Can't simplify this expression, and so that becomes our final result. It is important to note that when we switch the order of the composition, we do get a very different result. We can also do composition at just an x value. Here, we plug, take p of r of x. This means we take the r of x, since we can't evaluate it, and plug it into the p function. In other words, we take all of the r of x and plug it in for the p function for each of the x's. In the p function, we'll see r of x, or x plus 3, which means we have x, which is now x plus 3, plugging the r function in, squared, plus 2 times x, which is the r function, x plus 3. Squaring will give us x squared, the product twice, 3x and 3x is 6x, and 3 squared is 9. Distributing gives us 2x plus 6, and then we can finish by combining like terms to get x squared plus 8x plus 15 for our function p of r of x. In other words, we stick the r of x into the p function. When we switch the order, now, we're asking to take the p of x function and plug it into the r function. The r function, r of x, becomes r of x squared plus 2x, where x is now x squared plus 2x, and then we add 3 to the end. With no simplifying to do, our final answer is x squared plus 2x plus 3.